covered all of the different types of reverb effects. We're going to now cover all the different types of delay effects because the delay video in its you know eight minute glory uh, was just all the default delay. Uh, and there are other delays and you need to hear them. So now you have to, okay. This is the Arturia Mini Freak and it has officially too much functionality. It uh, has made a insane, preposterous uh, series out of what I'm trying to do here because there's just too much to do. So in that spirit, we're now going to explore the different types of delay because you need a, a billion different types of delay in a synth that has a billion different types of functionality. Why wouldn't you? Okay, so here we go. To arrive at delay, we're going to press select to get to FX2 where delay is a common thing. We're going to turn it on and then we have delay. So that's the delay we explored at length. Uh, now we're going to explore more. <laughs> we're going to press shift and then go to our type slash sub. Sub is what we're looking for. Knob here and go from digital, which is the one we explored, to digital sync. Good heavens, something terrible has happened. Uh, but we're not going to explore digital sync because all that is, is the effect that we've already explored at length in a video, but it is synchronized to the tempo of the Mini Freak, allowing you to do delay effects along with your sequences and arpeggiations. So uh, that is not something that really needs to be demonstrated. We all know what echoes that are in time sound like. Okay, so I'm gonna go on to the stereo delay. Let's hear how this sounds. Ooh, it's very stereo. And I can tell because I could hear it in both of the, okay, never mind. Okay, so let's hear the longest time. So what I'm hearing is that the delay is taken from the center and then panned outward and then there is a difference in the left and right ear. So that's really interesting. And of course we have feedback, so if we want this to go on forever and ever. With the slight delay that's happening in this delay, it may not be ideal for doing looping things, but it is really cool. So let's bring that down. Uh, send level. Uh, yeah, when you turn the send level up, the it makes the delay louder than the dry signal, but the dry signal is still there, which is interesting. Yes, when you turn the time down, you're going to get this kind of metallic chorus sound. Am I an obnoxious person? Yes, I am. But yeah, whenever you turn the time super low and then you turn the uh, feedback super high, you're gonna get that really weird noise, but it is really fun to play with. So that is what your stereo delay basically sounds like. I'm going 
going to get it back to the center and then we will move on to the next delay sound which let's see what it is it is digital digital sync which we don't need stereo and then stereo sync that same thing synced with the tempo of the um, sequencer and arpeggiator and then ping pong This is kind of a double time ping pong. Maybe it's just that the time is. Yeah, that's. Delays are fun, but that is basically what you're getting. Don't forget that you can voltage control all of these functionalities to get really cool effects, uh, connecting them to these touch strips so that you can do things like change the delay time or you know change the feedback amount and delay time simultaneously creating the weird effects that I was just doing. That makes a really cool synth sound. Keep that in mind. Okay, so what are we up to now? We have ping pong, ping pong sync. Okay, we just did ping pong, ping pong sync is where the synchronization is aligned with uh, the tempo of your sequence or arpeggiator. And I'm gonna imagine that you probably have the option, of course, of uh, you know, doing the things that would make that awesome. Okay, whatever that means. Uh, mono, now it's just a mono delay. This is, uh, so I'm gonna have to disconnect the extra, no, I'm just kidding. Okay, so mono delay. Let's put everything kind of in the center. straightforward. The kind of delay that no one uses anymore. that is your mono delay let us see what is next i think i can guess mono mono sync of course filtered ooh that's kind of cool
Yep, uh, the delay itself has a filter on it. So what you get after you play your dry sound is a filtered version of that sound. So what happens if you filter your... Well, that's funny. It doesn't sound more filtered after filtering. Hmm. Well, anyway, that is a cool sound. Great idea. I don't think I've ever heard of or thought of doing that before. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Let us now hear what comes next. Filtered sink. Filtered ping pong. Okay. This is really fun. This is a cool thing. I really like this filtered sound because sometimes, yeah, your uh, your delay can be obnoxious compared to what you are currently playing. So this kind of draws a uh, separation between what you're playing and what is happening with the delay. And then with this ping pong effect, it makes it fun. Fun, okay, is there anything left? Do we have more? Filtered ping pong, filtered ping pong with sync. And that is it. Uh, fantastic, uh, varied delay possibilities. There's just no end to this synth. Okay, so that is the, the spread of delay types found on the Arturia Mini Freak.